हेलो बच्चा पार्टी वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल आई एम यामिन दसरिया योर साइंस टीचर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द पार्ट टू ऑफ चैप्टर सिक्स चेंजेस अराउंड अस इन टुडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एक्सपेंशन कॉन्ट्रैक्शन व्हाट इज मेल्टिंग एंड हाउ कर्ड इज मेड ऑल दिस प्रोसेस आर नथिंग बट वे टू ब्रिंग अ चेंजेस ओके this all processes are very simple let's start with the expansion contraction then we will see the example of it so what is expansion as the name suggests expansion is nothing but the process of expanding when substance or material expand that is substance or material increase in size when they get warmer or when they get heated in simple word we can say that expansion is a process in which an object become bigger in size okay so what will be the contraction it is exactly opposite let's see contraction a substance or material contract that means it decrease in size when they get cooler is it clear when substance or material getting cool they get contract and that is nothing but contraction or in simple word we can say that a process in which an object material or substance becomes smaller or shrink is called contraction i hope you are clear with the concept of expansion and contraction expansion is the process of expanding that is to become bigger in size and contraction is contracting that is to become smaller in size okay bachcha party now we will see different example related to expansion and contraction as you can see in the figure number 6.6 this different tool have iron blade on it and that iron blade has a small ring so how this iron blade are fixed on this wooden stick let's see as we have discussed that tool which has iron blade and that iron blade has iron ring in which we fix the wooden handle or wooden stick and for that we have to keep the ring on the iron blade small why small because as we heat that particular ring that ring expand which means that ring become larger in size that we have already discussed in the process of expansion when substance or material get heated that material expands now as the ring expand that ring properly fixed on the wooden handle is it clear bachcha party how expansion take place here and after the expansion that ring easily fit on the wooden stick and when the ring cools down that is material or substance become cooler it contract same applies here when the ring cools down it contract and fit tightly on the handle wooden handle is it clear how contraction and expansion applied in daily life let's take another example have you ever seen this cartwheel which has a metal rim have you ever wondered how this metal rim is fixed on this wheel let's see so here also expansion and contraction take place as we have discussed in earlier example the ring of iron blade is smaller in here this metal rim is made slightly smaller so when that metal rim heated it expand and fit on a wooden wheel and after it cool downs that particular rim tightly fixed on that particular wooden wheel of a cart so this example is also similar to the previous example where the ring of iron blade is kept smaller here the rim of the wooden wheel kept smaller so that after heating it expand and after it cool downs it fits tightly on the wooden wheel i hope 
Now you are clear with the concept of expansion and contraction. These are nothing but changes in our day to day life. And the last major concept of this chapter is melting. As the name suggests, the thing which melts down is nothing but melting. But in scientific word, a process in which solid melts down and become liquid on heating is called melting. In Hindi, we call pigal jana. When a solid material or substance become liquid on heating, that is nothing but melting. The best example is ice cube. Ice cube on heating convert into the water. That is solid melts down and become liquid. This is nothing but the process of melting. In your textbook, they have given two examples of melting. Let's see. As you can see in figure number 6.8, they have told us to burn a candle and blow it out. So after blowing the candle, we have to measure its length. It is obvious that the length of the candle has decreased. Why? Because the candle is made up of wax and when wax is heated, it melts down. That is solid wax become liquid. Okay? And that is nothing but melting. And in second example, they have told us to heat the wax. As we heat the wax, that wax become liquid. That means that wax start to melt. Okay? So, can you say both of these example can be reversed? So, pause the video and write down your answer in comment box. I know my students are able to distinguish between reversible and irreversible changes. And I hope all of you have written the answer in comment box. Okay, Bacha Party? Related to this, they have given one more example of incense stick. That is nothing but agarbatti. We have to burn it completely and we have to notice the changes. So, what are the changes that occur in that particular agarbatti? The sticks burn completely and produce some new material. These materials are nothing but ashes and some gas. We cannot see this gas but we can smell it. Okay? They have pleasant smell based on their flavor. So, can you tell me this change can be reversed or not? No, this change cannot be reversed. From ashes, we cannot make incense stick again. Are you clear with the reversible and irreversible changes now? Okay, Bacha Bati. Now the last topic of the chapter that is how curd is made? The question can be asked on this topic. Explain the process of making the curd. So you have to write this answer. Okay. So let's see how it is made. A small quantity of curd is added to warm milk. Remember this. A small quantity is taken and that quantity of curd is added to warm milk. Okay. So, after adding the curd into warm milk, a milk is stirred for a while and kept aside for few hours in warm place. So, what will happen? In few hours, that milk cool down and the milk changes into the curd. Is it clear how curd is made? And this is nothing but change. We have converted a warm milk into curd by just adding small quantity of curd into it. So these are the various type of changes which we have seen in this chapter. Some of these are reversible changes, some of these are irreversible changes, in some changes a material or substance expand, in some changes material or substance contract and even a substance melt down. Okay? 
So these are the different changes that are taking around us in daily life. We haven't observed it carefully. So again, if you see any such type of changes around you, just remember it. We have already studied how these changes are taking place. Okay. I hope you are clear with all the concept of chapter six. But still, if anyone has any doubt, any what you are not understanding, any concept you are not understanding, please message me or comment down below, or you can contact me. Okay. With this, we have completed our sixth chapter, changes around us. We will meet in the next chapter. Till then, take care. Bye bye. Stay healthy. Stay fit.